It's really beautiful. My girlfriend, Bonnie, knew nothing about A Course in Miracles. But she always tripped me out because she was like this new age Christian kind of girl and she partied and whatever. And when I tell her about the Course, she said, that's exactly what Jesus says in the Bible. That's exactly what Jesus says in the Bible. So we were, it was a very helpful stage for me because I didn't know even what I was studying. But she'd be like, that is so deep. That's what Jesus was saying. So I was like, okay, this girl knows about the Bible. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm doing this thing and it's working. And it's working, and, and she could see that it was working. So we used to do this thing with mustard seeds, too. Like, you know, because she said it's like the faith of a mustard seed. And then she said, you know, mustard seeds are really, really tiny. And one day she brought me over a pack of mustard seeds. And she said, look how tiny they are. She goes, it's just like the faith of a mustard seed. You just have the faith of a mustard seed. And I don't know what happened, but I thought, oh, I'm going to have the faith that the Holy Spirit will be with me always, that I want to not forget what I'm doing. So that's when I started putting the mustard seed on my tongue, and I would just roll it around. I mean, even when I was the CEO, I'd walk in to the big corporations, and, and no one knew I had a little mustard seed on my tongue the whole time because, you know, I started the company from scratch, and I was terrified. It just seemed to happen. Like, people think I, I was scared out of my mind. I never did that before in my life. And, and so I was having to walk into new situations, you know, talking to administrators. And this was like a girl that was like from slums, basically. And I put on the whole thing and put on my mustard seed. And I just walk in and, 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 and heal my mind. I'd be walking in and saying, okay, Holy Spirit, I have fear and doubt and unworthiness and shame. And I'm going to hand it over to you. And I just kept walking. And every single time, that was what was so beautiful. Every single time, it was like, I got the contract. <laughs> you know, I walk out, I'm like, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> you know, like, it was working. But it wasn't about that for me. It was about the mind training. Yeah. It was not about becoming successful in the world. It was almost like to expand myself, you know, expanding. And I know that that's what we do here. We do a lot of expansion. I mean, just, you know... Anybody coming here is expanding, really. You're stepping out of your comfort zone, and there's, so there's so much fear and doubt and shame that we're not even aware that's there until mm -hmm. we step out. Mm -hmm. And so it's facing that terror in the mind, thinking that you're separate from God, really, is terrifying. That's a terrifying mm -hmm. idea. Yeah. To think that we're alone and separate here, what a, what a drag. It's a terrifying thing to think you've got to do this on your own. And so for me, I was doing that. And uh, seeing that whatever was going on, I was getting contracts, but it wasn't about that. And, and just mind training. And also another thing I remember one time in my office, you know, because I had 150 employees. It was pretty, it like, blew up. It was like the biggest joke of the century. I couldn't believe it was happening, really. And I had five women in the office. And all of a sudden, these other staffing companies started, like, shooting all these arrows at me. Because all the nurses were coming to work for me. And then, so I had all the nurses. So all the contracts were coming to me too, right? So I had, was like, in, got into this rivalry thing. And, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm there in the office one day. And all of a sudden, a fax comes across the, the fax. It's like in the very beginning days. And it's from another staffing company. And it says, we shall see you in court. You know, that we are suing you for da-da-da-da-da. It was another staffing company, and, and everybody in the office was like, Oh, my God, look at this. They're going to sue us. And I looked at the paper, and I took it, and I threw it away. <laughs> and I said, I am not listening to those thoughts. I said, I will not have those thoughts in my office. I said, I said get thee behind me, Satan. Like, I was just like, you know. Every time it was turning around, you know, it was like this real healing for everybody for us to really face. Our own doubt thoughts, right. yeah. facing our unworthiness, mm -hmm. facing our self hatred. You know, it's not going to go away if I'm just sitting there hiding mm -hmm. in 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 a shell. Yeah. God, I mean, we want to expand, and and continue to expand, and I feel that that's all that we're doing. So that was just like a stepping stone for me to expand my mind and to remove those blocks to the awareness of God's presence, love's presence. But it's like for me, I see that that doesn't end. Like, the ego's game always ends. You, like, do something, then it's like, oh, I need another fix. You know? 
even with success or money and sex and all these relationships, I need another one. Mm. But for this relationship, the relationship with God or whatever this is with myself, I see that every day it's brand new and it never ends. It's, it's a continual opening. And, and, it, and I feel like more opening for me in this moment, more opening to the stillness, more opening to the contentment, more mm. opening to just what is. Like every lesson now means everything to me because I, I understand it completely. Like, like everything is exactly as it should be. You know, truly it is. And it's just our thoughts that say it should be different. You know, and so it's like he's using all this stuff just to heal our mind. And that's why our brother is our savior. He's coming and showing up in our mind for us because God loves us so much. He wants us to look at, 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 at what we still believe is true in love, not in judgment, but in a way and say, I love you so much. Let's just look at this now. And I want you to hand it over to me and, and, and be willing to forgive it and, and remove that block to the presence that God is with us. And so I feel like every day, you know, just, I just have so much respect for the mind training and respect for what everybody, you know, even the people that are joining us here every day, this is very powerful because it's an opportunity for us, you know, no matter what's going on in your life, that we're dedicating this hour to awaken this mm -hmm. in our heart, mm -hmm. you know, awaken this experience of the joy in our heart, the love in our heart. It's not becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. It's not becoming spiritual or doing something because it's good. It's because this is an actual experience. And, and, um, what does it say in the course? A universal theology is impossible, but a universal experience is not only possible, inevitable. And that experience is the awareness of our true identity together, mm -hmm. the one son. And it's this, it's, it's the spirit and, and it's abiding in every single one. And we just have forgotten that we've forgotten who we were because we remember all these thoughts and time and we're focused on taking care of this body. Mm -hmm. Our mind is so focused in security in this world. So, you know, so our mind's so far out into the dream and Jesus saying, I love you so much. And let's just begin exactly where you're at. And let's look at what you believe. Mm -hmm. And no rush. There's no rush. It's like it's just right here. It's always this moment I get to begin again. You know, when I forget, okay. Even when I recognize that I forget is an opportunity to remember mm -hmm. again. I forgot. Yeah. And just don't try to figure it out. Where we fall, we get it back up. We fall, we get back up. We're falling and getting back mm -hmm. up. And so it's... Yeah, I just feel like we can't mess it up.